This is the first one. Hi, Ms. Uh, Mr. Uh, Brian Miller. My name is Andy Clark. I'm calling from State Farm Insurance. And the reason I'm calling because I would like to verify some information regarding a property that you rented from uh, located on 2192 Corson Street in Pasadena. Uh, we have a claim in regard to vandalism at the property uh, from the owner, Mr. Hassan Kamari, uh, filing for some damages uh, to the home. And uh, I just wanted to speak to you just to verify uh, the condition of the home and uh, when uh, you had left the property. Uh, I know that uh, there was some uh, eviction uh, notice that he said that was served. So I just would like to verify the facts with you. Please give me a call when you get a chance. Uh, my direct line is error code 805-379-5023. Uh, once again, that's 805-379-5023. And my name's Andy, calling from State Farm Insurance. Thank you. You know, I... out of the house from the sewage. We moved out of the house from the sewage damage. <clears throat> we moved out of the house from the, from the damage on June, like June uh, 17th, 18th, something like that, and uh, what have you. 
Sammy, you know, Sammy got the uh, the inspectors in. The, I guess you'd call them claims adjusters. Sammy got the inspectors in on false pretenses from the police. They didn't tell us about it, and they told the police that uh, I had actually murdered my girlfriend and put her in the house. Did you know that? No. Well, that's what happened. I got the police report. Okay. I have the police report for that. They went up and down the neighborhood with 8 by 10 pictures, and they showed them to the neighbors, and then they ran up to uh, my girlfriend's business and did the same thing up there after they found out. Mohammed, you know Mohammed Kamara? Yes. Yes. He was uh, 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 over there. He was at the, uh, the day before. On the 21st, Mohammed saw both of us. I have him on videotape with a timestamp on it. Okay, um... No, no. When I left in June, we couldn't sleep there anymore. I was. This was during a remediation. Now, here's something that you need to know. Okay, you guys went through the house. Did you personally go into the house? Yes. Okay. Now, I need. I need your uh, email. I need to send you some pictures. And first off, that wasn't vandalism. That was in the middle of a uh, remediation. The sewage. Here's what happened in a, in a brief, very brief thing. Your clients had been renting that house. Your clients had owned that house for a number of years, not just the two years that it shows up on public records, but way beyond that. Okay? I found it. All right? And they just transferred the name a little bit, changed it around, did a few things like that. Anyway, they've owned that property for a while. Inside the house, underneath the bathtub, was a septic tank that they made. Okay? They dug it out, hollowed it out, and they had the, the, uh, the drain that comes from the, the bathtub and the drain that comes from the sink and uh, this, something else. The, the toilet seemed to be hooked up, and not, I don't think it couldn't have been hooked up all the way because of that. But anyway, this was flowing into a giant hole. It had sand in it, different from the dirt, and it was, like I said, hollowed out all the drainage from the, uh, the bathroom. And it would slowly drain into this big giant hole and uh, wick out all the way out across the yard through the, uh, uh, the power lines. That's where the power line was laid. It was a French drain. Now, I didn't know that and uh, until we had the flood. We had a flood in... I've got all the, the dates, but we had a flood in, uh, it's a big one in April, and uh, Hassan and uh, Mohammed and Sammy, and uh, it's another one, Hussein. They all knew it, Babaki. Yeah, they all knew it, and they did nothing, and I fixed it myself, cleaned it up and everything. But this one was bad. This, this flood happened in uh, June. And it was really bad. It pumped sewage through the walls. I've got video of it, too. Real nice. Sewage through the walls and across the floor. And then it went right straight out to the back through the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the slats, the, uh, the panels, uh, the sidings, the siding of the house, you know, the wood siding? Yeah. And so underneath the bathtub... All that, where it was normally sealed, was nothing but black water sewage. And that came out and leaked out, and, and it was just everywhere. We came home to it. And that's, I had to, I left the washing machine on, and I think I drained the, the bathtub. I take a bath every morning. And uh, the washing machine was on, and we just left for a little bit. I've done that before, and no problems. Came back, and the whole house is full of sewage. Your guys did nothing. Nothing. Zero. They refused. I sent them letters. I sent them pictures. I've got full documentation on everything that uh, was done to, to get them out to help. They didn't do anything. Did you have insurance? Sorry? Did you have renter's insurance? Now, renter's insurance is a moot issue. You know why? There's no certificate of occupancy on that house. Never has been. No certificate of occupancy on there. How did you pay them for rent? 
I paid them every month. Is this cash and check? Checks. So you, do you have documentation? Absolutely. I have everything. So when, when you moved in... Um, when I moved in, I took a month. I'm a professional. What I do is I do high-end uh, uh, um, specialty projects. Uh, for instance, if uh, someone, and I work in high-end places, I work in pretty much nothing but, you know, multi-million dollar houses, multi-quadrillion dollar houses, and places like that. I do things like I'll grind the floor down to make the concrete look like terrazzo, and that's what I did there. I leveled the floor, ground it down, smoothed it, polished it, and uh, made it just nice. I sealed up. I've got allergies, so... Uh, we went and I cleaned everything in there, every every surface, cleaned it, sanitized it, sealed it, you name it. And then I put Rand ozone generators up in the attic and uh, had oxygen machines to bump that up and fogged it. I was very diligent as far as uh, putting this together. Like I said, it took me about a month, a little over a month, 16, 18-hour days. Who knocked the drywall out in the bathroom? Sorry? Knocked the, drywall out the, the sewage knocked the drywall out in the bathroom. The sewage did. Yeah, what, what happened was there was a, a mild earthquake. It was a pretty good earthquake, actually. Just before there, it was in the end of May. The end of May, you can look it up. There's a, But there was like a little earthquake. And I noticed that there was a toilet and a couple other places were leaking some water. And it would come and it would go a little bit, you know. And, and I, I noticed, I'm like, oh, what the hell is that? Couldn't really put my finger on it, and uh, but on when the sewage came, when the big the big big spill came, there was several of them, like, and, it, and there was like four or five different floods that happened there because of the toilet backed up, and I had to hire a guy to fix all that and do the whole nine yards. But when that came out, every pipe in the house, every pipe in there, was leaking inside the walls, and I sealed the, the walls up really good. And I used really good stuff to do it, and professional-grade uh, materials. And I went up, and I sealed everything. So the walls, when this water started coming out underneath the tub, it was a septic tank. They made it on purpose, <coughs> and they knew about it. The, the plumbers came. I've got plumbers' reports. They, when they said that the septic uh, or the, 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 um, the pipe is actually skewed, What makes you think I didn't call the property manager? Why would you uh, say I that? Know. I'm just asking you a question. I didn't assume anything. Okay, well, I did call the property manager who said promised me to come out, that's Sammy Masri. I got the phone records for that. And I've also got the stacks of emails and the stacks of text messages. What Masri told me was uh, um, this one went in there is, is why don't you just die? He said, everybody leaves when you have sewage coming out. I know, I rent this, I rent in many places, and when sewage comes, people leave. Well, here's the problem. Here's, here's what, you, you know, you, you don't, you went and saw the wreckage, but here's what maybe you need to know. That place was rented for a commercial, uh, uh, a commercial uh, uh, um, enterprise that, that was going to take place uh, three times uh, that year and, and a couple times in the next year. And that was going to be for an art show. Open, going to open the whole property up and uh, let the public come in to the house the, and uh, the backyard and everything, to the gardens, and uh, see the art shows. We had uh, things built for, you know, concerts and what have you. I had it cleared with the city. We spent a did fortune. You a, did you put up a, a chain link fence and block the driveway? Yes, I did. I put that up, and then I requested... Now, I put that up, uh, it was a while back, but I put that up, and uh, I requested from the sheriff to put that chain link fence back up because someone had knocked it down, and I've been out of the property for about a month now, but the fence got knocked down, and what happened was I called the sheriff, and I told him to put it up. The reason is because the entire backyard is totally occluded, and uh, with uh, uh, penicil it's Aspergillus, Niger. That's uh, uh, a fungus, 
and that is created, uh, that creates aflatoxins. It's deadly. It's really dangerous back there. I had the fire department back. Everyone who's gone back there for any very any time has gotten an ill effect from it. It's gone into their chest, everything, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But now it is a hundred times worse, one hundred times worse than it ever was. And the reason it's a hundred times worse is because the city health department, who works very closely with Sammy, and they're very close, they uh, they shut the water off. That's how they brought me some help. This was in July 23rd, same day you were there. They came and shut the water off. I couldn't finish. I was remediating the soil, remediating the uh, the other stuff. Now, when you go back and look, you'll notice that everything in the property has got this fungus on it. It's black and it's voracious. It's, an, it's a human opportunistic pathogen. It's the most cancer-forming thing known to man in the whole world. And it's everywhere, but except when you left the property, did you, did you remove all the blinds? The blinds. Yeah, the vertical blinds in the living room. The vertical blinds in the living room were in the back. Yeah, that was that was for the draperies. Now. Do we 